Marlene Dietrich and Jean Gabin, two iconic figures in the world of cinema, captivated audiences with their undeniable talent and irresistible on-screen presence. Their partnership not only created cinematic magic, but also sparked a romantic connection that would weave its way through their careers and personal lives. Both Dietrich and Gobbin were known for their distinctive styles and magnetic allure, making them a couple that was almost too good to be true. In this chapter, we delve into the depths of their unconventional love story, exploring the passion, the challenges, and the transcendent nature of their relationship. Marlene Dietrich, born Marie Magdalene Dietrich, von Losch, entered the world on December 27, 1901, in Berlin, Germany. With her striking looks and innate talent, she quickly rose to prominence as one of the most alluring stars of the silver screen. With a career spanning over six decades, Dietrich became an icon, known for her smoky voice, impeccable style, and her ability to exude sensuality effortlessly. She portrayed strong and independent women, breaking away from societal norms and captivating audiences with her magnetic presence. Jean Gabin, born Jean Alexis Moncourget, was born on May 17, 1904, in Paris, France. Hailing from a family of entertainers, it seemed only natural for Gabin to pursue a career in acting. He possessed a rugged charm and undeniable talent, which made him a leading man of the French cinema. Gabin established himself as a powerhouse actor, known for his ability to bring depth and vulnerability to his characters. With his brooding eyes and charismatic presence, Gabin became a heartthrob, admired by both men and women, alike. Marlene Dietrich and Jean Gabin first crossed paths on the set of the 1936 French film The Lower Depths. Little did they know that this encounter would be the beginning of a lifelong connection. Despite the language barrier, Dietrich and Gabin developed a strong bond, communicating through their shared passion for the craft of acting. It was during the filming of this movie that the seeds of their romance were planted, although they were yet to fully blossom. Over the years, Marlene Dietrich and John Gabin's paths would intertwine on multiple occasions, both personally and professionally. Their undeniable chemistry on screen led to collaborations in films such as Martin Rumagnik, 1946, and Witness for the Prosecution, 1957. Each project served as a reminder of the unspoken connection between them, further fueling the flames of their affection. However, their relationship faced numerous obstacles, predominantly due to their respective personal lives. Both Dietrich and Gavin were married to other individuals, making their love affair clandestine and filled with secrecy. Their public personas often concealed the intense emotions they shared, forcing them to navigate a complicated web of love and loyalty. Yet, even in the face of adversity, Dietrich and Gabin refused to let go of their affection. Their love affair persevered, fueled by stolen moments and a fiery desire to be together. The intensity of their connection mirrored the emotions portrayed on screen, blurring the lines between reality and fiction. As their careers flourished, Dietrich and Gavin continued to captivate audiences independently. Dietrich mesmerized in films like The Blue Angel, 1930, and Morocco, while Gavin showcased his talent in movies such as La Grande Illusion and Lecky des Brunes. 1938, their on-screen personas became intertwined with their real-life selves, creating a complex tapestry of identities that only added to their mystique. It was not until 1938, during the filming of The Front in Hollywood, that Dietrich and Gavin's relationship reached its peak. 
The intensity of their love affair was palpable, casting a spell on those around them. However, as with many passionate romances, the flames eventually flickered, and their connection began to wane. The pressures of their personal lives, coupled with the constant scrutiny of the public eye, took a toll on their once unbreakable bond. Despite the end of their romantic relationship, Marlene Dietrich and John Gabin remained lifelong friends. Their connection, forged through the trials and tribulations of their shared experiences, was one that transcended the boundaries of love. They continued to support each other's careers and offered unwavering loyalty, even in times of personal strife. Their enduring friendship served as a testament to the profound impact they had on each other's lives. Marlene Dietrich and Jean Gaddon, two individuals destined to leave an indelible mark on the world of cinema, created not only unforgettable performances, but also a love story that defied conventions and expectations. Their passion, both on and off screen, continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day, reminding us of the transformative power of love and the enduring legacy of two extraordinary souls.